about liberals? You know, the high information by the science people? In a recent Gallup survey, Democrats did much worse than Republicans in getting the right answer to the fundamental question, what are the chances that someone who gets COVID will need to be hospitalized? The answer is between 1 and 5 percent. 41 percent of Democrats thought it was over 50 percent. Another 28 percent put the chances at 20 to 49. So almost 70 percent of Democrats are wildly off on this key question and also have a greatly exaggerated view of the danger of COVID-2 and the mortality rate among children. All of which explains why today the states with the highest share of schools that are still closed are all blue states. So if the right-wing media bubble has to own things like climate change denial, shouldn't liberal media have to answer for, how did your audience wind up believing such a bunch of crap about COVID? <laughs> a, a new report in The Atlantic says the media won't stop putting pictures of the beach on stories about COVID, even though it's looking increasingly like the beach is the best place to avoid it. <laughs> Sunlight is the best disinfected, and vitamin D is the key to a robust immune system. Texas lifted its COVID restrictions recently, and their infection rates went down, in part because of people getting outside to let the sun and wind do their thing. <laughs> but... But to many liberals, that can't be right, because Texas and beach-loving Florida have Republican governors. But life is complicated. I've read that the governor of Florida reads. <laughs> I, I know we like to think of Florida as only middle school teachers on bath salts having sex with their students in front of an alligator. <laughs> But apparently the governor is also a voracious consumer of the scientific literature. And maybe that's why he protected his most vulnerable population, the elderly, way better than did the governor of New York. <laughs> Those are just facts. I know it's irresponsible of me to say them. 